greetings to everyone after watching this video you will be able to learn few more components from interpersonal communication particularly in this video i am going to explain you the role of emotion in interpersonal communication emotion means in the communication actually when two people communicates there should be some part of emotion either giving or receiving or showing empathy showing sympathy receiving help and helping back these are all uh, emotions sometimes in business or in, in business area or else uh, in an organization subordinate to superior superior to subordinate or among the workers there must be some emotion in order to exchange of uh, the message or information or data in their day to day life so the role of emotion is uh, plays a large part in uh, ability to communicate effectively in the world the best communicators use emotion in a positive manner in a positive manner in the sense uh, spreading positivity giving the information showing the empathy showing the sympathy and uh, being friendly with the people who are there who they are communicating with so this is the skill that everyone needs to be learn this is the ultimate skill that everyone should have and particularly in showing uh, emotions few people fail because of uh, the devil called stress so how the devil can be destroyed if you have effective communication you can kill the devil called stress so here we can see the major blocks that affect communication let us see they are uh, uh, work related related stress lessened ability to listen and uh, in sometimes it might be in personal nature so personal nature means having some personal problems having economical problems and having some communication problems and language problems so with all these uh, people usually feel uh, stress some people may have uh, stage fear some people may have uh, eye contact fear that means they cannot uh, uh, see into the eyes of the people so these are all uh, the building blocks of uh, emotional stress so if you build emotional you can be able to emotionally intelligent a person so here let us see the image you are stronger than you think so people everyone should think that you are stronger than what you think you don't know what are the things what are the efforts you have what are the skills you have so you must think that you will be you can do anything you can do you anything and you have that skill an emotionally intelligent person is better able, able to manage their stress and reactions as well the relations with others so that is what uh, the emotion plays in everybody's life let us see the four steps to remain stress free and communicate more effectively they are take a moment to breathe and communicate one point at a time use body language effectively it helps to clarify your uh, position so take a moment to breathe how to take a moment it means preparation before you are going to communicate or meet somebody plan something what you need to speak 
what you need to convey take time and take long breath and proceed and next one communicate one point at a time so it is very clear that don't give stuff to anybody don't give stuff just tell them a point by point so after understanding one point the receiver can understand the another point so that by giving only at a point at a time you can easily communicate and next one is uh, using body language effectively so using body language means during the work hours the people may be affected and emotionally they might uh, show some different body language towards their work and the people who are working with so you should not bring your problems to your office and you should not take your office to the home in the same way use body language effectively for example when you are giving the happy information that means the information which benefits to the receiver and you are telling it with angry and uh, with a sad face it shows uh, you are in some problem and you are thinking something else and you are not uh, sure on your work on what you are doing and next point is uh, clarify your position so after communicating after giving the information clarify your position what are you expecting and uh, what are the benefits to the receiver so if you do this if you follow these four steps uh, you will be remain uh, stress free and can communicate uh, more effectively and uh, let us see everyday exercise to help manage stress nowadays managing stress is a big problem it's a big challenge to a small uh, kid to the elder people even the small kid is also having some problems from school at home and everything and everything now let us see take time to calm down and think before speaking as already we discussed take time while you are speaking don't uh, repeat the words don't repeat the information think before you are speaking it means are you giving the information in a better manner or not breathe slowly relax relax yourself and uh, give a positive image on your face it means uh, with smile according to the situation you have to respond and next one is see the bright side of the situation so seeing the positive side of the situation for every situation there is a negative and positive sides so you have to emphasize and you have to take the positive situation to your receiver as well as your self and next one is take things in a little less seriously don't don't take uh, everything seriously there are uh, then there is no uh, serious situations in everybody's life it means we have some serious problems in our life and by looking every thing every little things seriously there is no means to serious issues in your life it has become useless and causes many psychological problems so this is about the today's class the rule of emotion and i hope you all understood and we'll meet in the next video thank you so much